Hey, this is my third tutorial, and in this I'm going to teach you how to make ladders, multiple levels, and weapons, and how to change the skybox and make one. So, let's get started. Alright, first off, we're going to delete this desk we made. Or actually, you know what, instead of deleting it, let's just let's double click on it. And this is an easy way if you want to if you put in a prop and you don't like the way it looks, if you want to change it. So just double click that click browse and now I already have it typed in but in the filter make sure I have MDL files up at the top selected type in ladder you can have all these options we want to come to the one that says props underscore c17 slash metal ladder 002 dot MDL click that click OK and click apply and now depending on how it is your ladder might be a little to the side like that Okay, all we, what we want to do is we want to rotate it as best we can to make sure it's f it's as flat as it, we can. So, that looks pretty good. Go ahead, decrease the grid so we can get it. Size. Go and try to make the ladder so it's kind of in the center of, if you put the player start in the middle, kind of like try to center it up. So that way it's easy for all the players to get to it. Move it down so that way it's touching the ground. Now, now we have our ladder. Now, let's go ahead and make some make a brick or a brush. Sorry, let's go and make it 32 by. Oh, sorry, anyways, let's try to make it 32 by 192. And try to center it up with that. You know, let's let's make it bigger. Let's make it 224 by 32. Make sure you have the correct texture selected. To have slash dev underscore measure generic 01. Make sure you have that selected. Create object. Now let's kind of let's make it make some uh, let's make something around the um, survivors so that way it, it's it's almost like they're entrenched in a little dugout or something. So come over here. Make this size 216 so that way they'll it'll be even all around. Alright, I'm I need to move them closer, but just don't worry about that if you you don't need to. Alright. Go ahead and make it so it encircles them so it, it looks like they start off in a little sort of just dugouty area. And now to make this more of like a dugout, we let's go ahead and resize all of the brushes to fill up the entire map. Um, except for the dugout we made go ahead and make it make it look at look as though they you spawn like a little bit underground there we go all right now we it looks like the survivors are in a little uh, dugout. But now you're gonna say, hey, don't the walls look the same color as the floor now up here? Well, that's true. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and select this tool. It's called it's uh, right above the texturize tool. This is the face edit sheet. What we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and with this control click and select the tops of all of the of all four of these brushes what the face edit sheet does is it allows us to go through and select adjust the faces of things we want to edit so with those selected click browse and now come over and click dev slash dev underscore measure generic 01b double click it and click apply now as you can see the walls inside here are orange and the floor up here is now gray now because we don't need this bottom brush to be so big anymore let's go ahead and resize it so that way it's just it just is a, as big as the dugout that way it's it can save memory for the game Perfect. Now, make sure you didn't resize it too little, so that way there's any leaks outside the map. 
No. Alright. So, now we've created the little dugout thing. Now let's make it so they can actually climb out. What we're gonna do is, let's make make a brush just as big as the prop static we made. I need to resize it if you have to. Make sure it, it just covers the ladder. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and click browse. And then end in the filter type in no draw. Now, I'm going to come over here and select the first one that just says no draw. It's tool slash tools no draw. Click it. Right click and cre create object. What a no draw does is a no draw s makes it so the game does not run, ought try to run that the texture on that side of it. So this is this helps uh, reduce lag if you have uh, no draws. It's especially helpful, like say outside the map here where no one will see that, to make though make these sides of it no draw. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select the all the bottoms of this. And go ahead and click the sides of the dugout. Browse, no draw, apply. Come over here and get the last bit. All right, so now that'll also that'll help the game run a lot smoother. Having those huge areas now just no draw, and as you can see, it'll still look like it's a normal thing inside game. All right, now what we're gonna do? Select the face of the brush where the front of the ladder is. Click browse and in the filter type in ladder. We're gonna come over here to the one at the corner. It says tools slash tools invisible ladder. Double click it and click apply. And now it should be orange and say ladder. Now the last step is we're gonna click it and press control T. And now, as you can see, I just turned this. I turned this brush into an entity. What we're gonna do is we're gonna type in funk underscore ladder. Click OK and click apply. Now, in game, that'll automatically the game will run this as a ladder. And because of the no draw and the the ladder part doesn't get represented either, you won't see the brush. It'll be don't delete it, but it'll look like that in game but you'll be able to, it'll seem as though you're climbing up it now let's make it let's make a skybox now what now the what you do is you're going to come up here and click the top up up here click browse on the textures and type in skybox now all these things will appear now these aren't really these can be can be used as skyboxes somewhat, but what we're mainly what we need to use is it'll say tools slash tools skybox down it should be near the bottom. Double click that, apply the texture. And now as you can see it's filled with things that say skybox. What the game does is on this it'll represent that as the sky. To, it'll put that as whatever sky you picked. So, done that. Let's make, let's put in some weapons for the survivors to s get when they come up from their little dugout. What we're gonna do is objects. We're going to type in weapon underscore or let's give him uh, an Uzi. So that's weapon underscore SMG underscore spawn. Click, and as you can see, a UC just spawned. Go ahead and rotate it so that way it'll look like it's lying flat on the ground. Uh, move it down a little bit. You can reduce the grid to make to try to get it perfect. Rotate a little so that way it looks like it it looks like it was actually like just placed there, not like spawned move it back a little. Now next we're going to type in weapon underscore 
pump shot gun underscore spawn get down there do the same thing alright now we have our two weapons selected alright we have created a ladder a skybox edited face sheets created multiple levels and spawned weapons until next time.